Hey crypto fans, welcome back here with more news on the Bitcoin. Today we're talking about the information and news we have here on the Bitcoin ETF, also the price analysis and price predictions that we have for this amazing coin. We're going to discuss all of the information about the leader of the cryptocurrency Bitcoin and about the Bitcoin ETF information that we have for today. Let's have a look at what we have. First of all, the price still continues consolidating at $42,000 and probably the consolidation will continue ongoing as we expected it uh, for quite some time and uh, the market should rise like Ethereum, like other altcoins. Well, Bitcoin run already happened by itself and we already understand that, that it's probably going to go down soon. We need to get most of it out by spot trading and uh, making a small profits and also buying other uh, coins like Ethereum and altcoins to make profits for ourselves, then wait for it to drop, buy even more and wait for the market to explore it uh, to explore it after the bitcoin etf and uh, halloween as well so let's start on some interesting information what do we have here prepared even though Bitcoin has ripped from 15,000 to 45,000, this is still just the beginning of this bull market. 13 year trend deviation has Bitcoin at levels from 2012 2013. Your mental model should be Bitcoin is going to make a run at gold market cap this cycle of roughly 600k per coin. Insightful chart from the Pantera Capital. Next, uh, there's 1.8 million to 2 million Bitcoin left on exchanges. My assumption is that BlackRock will acquire 1 million Bitcoins for the ETF, then there is the 12 other ETFs plus public companies that are now incentivized by FIASB to adopt a fair value accounting. Bitcoin this cycle will be deemed an ESG asset, which Financial Times is already reporting that we could get nation states mining through renewable energy plus acquiring as a treasury asset. Coupled with slow flow, 78% of the supply is deemed illiquid. And also news on that the Prime Minister of Montenegro now owns Bitcoin. And this is huge because more countries uh, start accepting Bitcoin in the future, as well as a whole cryptocurrency market, different coins, and the cryptocurrency will finally rise and our, our, uh, our, and our portfolios will finally rise and we will increase our earnings. That's for sure that what we should expect. And next on the line, Bitcoin's weekly RSI has never reached level this high without the kicking off a raging bull market. Just saying, and it's probably that uh, as we had a lot of the rises on the uh, bull runs, we had a huge increases and the RSI is already that high. So we might expect even more in the near future because RSI is still not at its highest and it's still at a possibility of a massive growth. That that we can expect. If we look at the Fibonacci levels from the autumn high to the macro swing low for Bitcoin, we find ourselves testing support inside a golden pocket. That's bullish in the 0.5 Fibonacci holds and leads to a breakout above this 618 level. But at the moment, there seems to be a battle to hang on the, this. Gotta wait for some candles to develop. Breaking banking giant JP Morgan triples its Bitcoin and cryptos team. Banking giant JP Morgan triples its Bitcoin and crypto team. I don't know what to tell you about this. But they are probably ready for the Bitcoin ETFs too, and they are increasing their holdings as well, buying more coins and buying people who are working on the Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as a whole. Technical implementation. Bitcoin stamps that are amped directly into the Bitcoin's blockchain UTXO set. The integration means that the data becomes a permanent part of the blockchain, immutable and unerasable. Ordinals, it contrasts ordinals and uh, inscribed data onto individual satoshis. While innovative, this approach depends on the nodes. Discretion uh, and nodes can prune this data uh, to optimize their performance, which might lead to the loss of ordinals data over time. Data permanence and security. Bitcoin stamps, the unchangeable nature of Bitcoin stamps guarantees the, uh, the permanence of the data. And once a Bitcoin stamp, uh, stamp is created, it stays on the blockchain forever, providing a high level of security and trust. Ordinals, the potential for data pruning in ordinals raises concerns about the long-term security and reliability of the data and the possibility 
that certain information might be lost over time undermines its integrity compared to Bitcoin stamps. Impact on the blockchain efficiency, Bitcoin stamps. Uh, they are designed to occupy minimal space on the blockchain, thus having a negligible, negligible impact on the overall efficiency and scalability of the Bitcoin network. Ordinals, this inscription of data on individual satoshis can lead to a blockchain bloat, potentially slowing down to ne the network and impacting transactions verification times. This raises scalability concerns, especially as the adoption of ordinals grows. Use cases and its applications. So, Bitcoin stamps ideal for applications requiring long term data integrity, such as legal documents, certificates, and historical records due to their immutable nature. And ordinals, while they offer a unique way to tag and track individual satoshis, the potential impairments makes them less suitable for applications where data longevity is critical. All I'm saying, stamps is way bigger than ordinals. And Bitcoin shows that when there's a clear protocol for reverse, things can work smoothly without the CEO. And Gary Gensler also uh, was asked about the pending spot Bitcoin ETFs instead of the 26 trillion treasury market and he gets offended by it. He's holding Bitcoin ETF hostage. That's what we should understand. First Trust files for Bitcoin, but for ETF with a SEC. Asset manager First Trust has filed with a SEC for Bitcoin buffer ETF, intending to help investors mitigate risk by targeting t uh, downside protection. Uh, and here we could see this on the screenshot as well. With an exception of an ETF acceptance spike, we will likely enter a period of consolidation now. 2024 will be big and we are going to consolidate before the massive explosion going to happen in the 2024-2025. The 2024 first half will for sure be a consolidation phase and 100 will be cracked after the summer, I guess, and then it will continue on going even higher and higher and we'll be expecting the massive explosion and the bull coin um, I mean, Bitcoin bull run. Regular bearish divergence warns of a potential correction. Gaps tend to fill between the price and Kuma cloud. Imbalanced zone acts as a magnet, likely to be tested before an upward surge. Also, started from the bottom, now we are here. Number of transactions processed in 2022 alone Bitcoin, $8.2 trillion, Visa, $6 trillion, and MasterCard, $2.5 trillion. We are in a big market for sure. If you don't think this can happen with a Bitcoin, see image number one. We are over here as a Bitcoin starting to grow only and exploding. And then you don't know adoption curves and you can look at image number two and understand that we are really early with all that stuff and Bitcoin is only at its start comparing to all the other things that we have in our daily basic life. And only a small amount of people have Bitcoin in their portfolios and actually have portfolios of cryptocurrencies. And most likely still a lot of people are on stocks and they don't understand how cryptocurrency would work, but they will come when it will be their time. That's all the information we got on today's video on the Bitcoin. See you in the next one because we are going to discuss even more information today. Peace.